Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Rob Lifson. I'm one of the VPs of Sales and Business Development here with Lightspeed Trading. Today's topic will be displaying the new research trading tools, new research tools with Lightspeed powered by TipRanks. We are happy to have the TipRanks CEO and co-founder, Yuri Greenbaum, here to help us present the information and show a lot of the tools and settings that you can do here for the Lightspeed Trader software with TipRanks and also the Lightspeed Client Center on the website as well. Before we get started, I just have a quick disclaimer. Please note this presentation is for educational purposes only. In no way is this to be construed as actual investment advice, guidance, or any solicitation to buy, sell, or hold any security. Uh, all of the information here is for educational purposes. The purpose of TipRanks is to provide you with exposure to market research and for you to evaluate your own investment advice. Lightspeed does not provide any specific advice for you. With that being said, I want to introduce Yuri and have him briefly talk about TipRanks before we get started and show you the tools integrated with Lightspeed. So Yuri, please uh, let's uh, hear a little bit about the company. Sure. So uh, thank you, Rob, and thanks, everyone, for uh, taking the time and joining us. Uh, my name is Uri. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of TipRanks. So TipRanks analyzes big financial data and brings transparency and data-driven decision-making uh, to the lives of investors. Our platform was awarded many times for its innovation and its ability to analyze a lot of data and extract insights. So how do we use all this data? Most of you have probably uh, came across during their uh, investment, um, during the times they've been investing, they probably came across a lot of articles in the spirit of buy these five stocks or this analyst from Goldman Sachs just upgraded this or that. And I assume that some of you have also uh, um, lost some money following this advice. TipRank has developed what we call a financial accountability tool that basically measures what the performance of any financial expert out there. And we create smart consensuses based on what analysts are saying, what financial bloggers are saying, and other types of financial experts. So by doing so, we don't only show you what analysts are saying, but we also show you how good are they and how um, trustworthy is their recommendation. Rob? Uh, Great, yes. We can yes, OK. Okay, so there's just briefly the, the TipRanks website, but let's show you how we integrate all these great tools into the Lightspeed end users' ability here. So this would be the Lightspeed Client Center when you log in through the Lightspeed website. You initially have your overview, and you can go into your account and view your reports, but you can also see we have a new tool here for research. So once I go into the Research tab, I can then begin my analysis using tip ranks and we go through some of the different tabs here so you see we have our rating scans and rating by symbol so here's our first one would be the under the rating scans and we have our daily analyst so uh, Yuri please uh, expand on this for us perfect so what you see here is a live feed of real-time ratings that are aggregated by more than 350 firms research firms and more than 3,000 500 analysts. Each line you see here, you can see on the left the rating, if it is a buy, a hold, or a sell. You can see the company that is rated. You can also see the price target. Now, most importantly, you can see who is the analyst behind this rating and how good is he. So, for instance, on the top row, you're going to see someone from Oppenheimer called Stephen Lichtman, who covers the healthcare, and he's now recommending investors to buy Endologic. Now, if you look on the right side, you will see that if you followed his uh, ratings historically, you would have lost on average 1.2% every time he recommended to buy or to sell a stock, meaning that following his advice might not be uh, uh, the, the smartest move you can do, unless, of course, you have other reasons to why you should invest in, uh, in the logics. But on the other side, you can see uh, below an analyst from JP Morgan who is He's rating a stock a hold, so it doesn't mean a lot as well. But many times you will find here a lot of investment ideas that are based on 
top performing analysts. And the beautiful thing here is that it's completely transparent. So for each one of these analysts, you can actually see his track record before you decide to execute uh, a transaction based on his position. Now above this ratings, you can see here, um, Robert, you can scroll up for a minute. You can see that you have a lot of filters. One of them allows you to see what the top performing analysts are saying. So uh, if we click here, exactly. We can decide to opt out of the underperforming experts. Rob, can we please do that? Can we go to the left here? Yeah, and just check out uh, and stay like only with four or five analysts. Perfect. So now we just narrow down a feed with 400 to 500 daily ratings to a feed with about 100 ratings. But all of them are made by analysts who have consistently generated positive returns since 2009. You can see an analyst from Barclays who just recommended to sell Alcobra or, and has a 9.7% average return on ratings he provided. Now, there are other filters than just filtering out the best or worst analyst. You can also filter them based on the type of rating because not all of us want to or are able to uh, short sell stocks, so we'd be more interested to find buy ratings. You can also, uh, on right of that, you can decide the type of action. Many of the ratings are just reiteration of ratings, but some of them are initiations, which usually mean more, or upgrades or downgrades. You can also filter ratings based on the market caps, if they are small caps, mid caps, or, or uh, big caps. Or if you are interested in specific sectors, you can choose the sectors you are most interested in on the right of that. and uh, then find interesting ideas that are related to specific uh, ratings. Now, in each row, you would find on the right, so now we are narrowing it down only to technology or, or others. Now, on the right side of each ratings, okay, now on the right side of each rating, you'll see a column that says read why. Basically, we allow you from this point on to also read the reasoning behind the recommendation because what we will do is we will uh, we extract all these ratings from publicly available websites and then we direct you to those websites so you can read the reasoning behind that rating as well if you are interested in more than just getting a rating idea. So that is one way to use this live feed. And on the left side, we also have what is called highest rated stocks or lowest rated stocks. So perhaps we can click on that as well. Sure. I also want to go into the actual software as well, kind of cross to show exactly sure. where the same type of tools you can see on the software here. So now this is the Lightspeed Trader software. You need the newest version to have this included. And you can see on the left-hand side under your new menu that you have the various tools as well. So we can have that same type of window open directly into your platform here. So you can go into your analyst ratings or your daily ratings and, and have all the same type of functionality. Correct. So other than just looking at uh, a live feed of ratings, what a Lightspeed also integrated into their platform. Oh, so do we want to, uh, Rob, do we want to look at this for a second? Can you open yeah, this and maximize it maybe? Okay. Yeah, let's take yeah. a look here. Yeah. Stretch it a bit. Okay. So basically what you see here is something that is equivalent to what you'd find on a Bloomberg terminal called ANR. And this is actually a really premium type of uh, a research tool that you won't find anywhere else. Unless, of course, you can afford a Bloomberg or a Thomson Reuters. You will see here on the top the consensus of the analyst, which in this case is a strong buy. And on the right of that, you will see the average price target and the upside. You can see what is the highest, uh, what is the highest price target. In this case, it's $185. And you can see the lowest price target, which is $65. And the, the average of all the price targets would be $128. Below, you will see here an area that shows you basically all the analysts that are covering the stocks on the left, the names of them, the firms they are from, their ranking position, price target, action, and the date the rating was uh, issued. Between the consensus and the list of analysts, you will see two radio buttons, one that says all analyst consensus and price target, and another one that says best performing analyst consensus and price target. 
Now, uh, basically, when you when you click that, what you would see is you would see the difference of uh, the consensus if you look at all the analysts and opposed to if you look at only those that have consistently generated returns. This basically, this, we call this a smart consensus because other than just looking at what 50 analysts are saying, you can look at what the best 20 analysts or so are saying and get a much more accurate consensus. Uh, now, uh, uh, Rob, do we want to go to the Insider Activity tab here or go back to the uh, website? We'll go back to the website. Let me okay. bring that right back up here. See, it shows their, their rating history as well on, on other companies as well. You can basically see the list of all the other companies he recently rated and get uh, other investment ideas because if you do find that analyst that his performance is just off the chart, you might be interested to see other companies he recently rated. Great. Okay, so now we'll head on to the highest rated through the software here, the, the highest rated yeah. stocks. So basically what we see here in this window is more of a trending stocks. Which stocks have been rated the most over the last seven days? So you can see what are the stocks that have been rated the most uh, positively in the last seven days, but there's also a window that shows you the worst rated stocks, meaning that if there are any stocks that have been getting a lot of ratings in the last few days that have been either neutral or negative. Now, when you do have this linked in through the software, you can just click on the symbol, and you can see it populates in the, the Lightspeed Trader software in the level two window. It will also go into your, directly into the analyst ratings as well for that. So once you decide you want to take a look at one of these highest rated stocks, it then can easily populate the other section, and then you can start to view some of the analyst ratings as well. So it's a very nice feature that just links all the windows together for a quick view and quick order entry as well. Uh, there's another t tab here on the software as well, the, the daily ratings. So same thing in the new here, the daily ratings. So where is some of this coming from? Sorry. Sorry, where is uh, these ratings coming from? Mm -hmm. So these. So basically, the way we obtain all this data is by we have two ways to do it. The first, the first way is by basically analyzing any publicly available resource, including all the Yahoo finances and CNBCs that are out there. And so we use our algorithms to analyze and process this data in a very accurate way. And that's how we extract ratings. Another, uh, another way that we get uh, a hold on this data is by having hundreds of analysts who are sending us their reports directly because uh, they want to maintain an accurate uh, Tipperings profile. Tipperings has, I think it is fair to say that Tipperings has become the golden standard for analyst uh, ranking in Wall Street. And we, have, we see many, many firms that have, keeps growing on a daily basis that contribute to us directly so that would not require us to pick up all the ratings from uh, online resources. Great. So what and you then once again, here, it, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Just once again, you could just click on the the company. It's going to populate the analyst ratings and, and let you deep go deeper into the into your research as well. Perfect. And let me go back to the to the website as well. We do have another tab, would be the rating by symbol tab. And this is where you can do specific searches.
And then that leads us to the, the insider transactions as well. Can you explain that a little further? Absolutely. So we all, so we all know uh, what an insider is. A corporate insider is, is any executive, a C-level executive that works for a, a listed company. And, and whenever an in, insider uh, does an in transaction, meaning he is either buying or selling equity in his companies, he is required to report to the SEC. It's called the Form 4. What we do at Tempering is we analyze all these Form 4s and we measure the performance of different insiders. Now, we found that there is actually a lot of alpha in the buy transactions. The problem with SEC forms is that there are so many types of transactions and only a few of them are actually informative. The majority of the transactions are either uh, yearly plans that have been made in advance or, uh, equi or option exercise and other company events. But those that are proactively buying and selling um, equities in their companies, is th that is a very strong uh, predictor. And what we do here is we also show you what is the overall sentiment in each company. You can see a list of all the transactions in each company, and then we measure it historically. So we will tell you every day if the sentiment is higher than it is historically. We, we measure the standard deviation, and we measure the number of transactions. And then we can tell you, okay, you know what, in this company, suddenly there are many insiders that have started buying the stock without any reason uh, that we can think of. And if you look historically, if you look over the last few years, you will see that there was never any event where many insiders have started uh, buying into uh, their own company. So P Peter Lynch once, uh, once said that insiders have many reasons to sell stocks of their companies, but there's only one reason, which is they truly believe in that company. And we turned that into a science by basically measuring how good was the historical performance of all these insiders. So for instance, we saw that following what CFOs are doing can generate much higher alpha than looking at what CEOs are doing. And if you focus on insider activity in small cap and mid cap, the performance is actually higher than uh, large cap companies. So uh, in this specific feature, you can see the overall sentiment and you can see a list of all the transactions. You can see if the transaction is informative or uninformative and uh, conclude from that if this is an interesting opportunity or not. Great. Now we do have some other tabs and, and other categories that we're able to provide, but these are coming soon. We, we plan on integrating the second phase for the functionality to come in the next couple of months, most likely in January, so please look out for that as well. We'll, we'll probably send another notification that further functionality will be available, including the hedge fund activity and certain of the top and, and, I, I and can, lowest perhaps, ratings. So perhaps I can just explain what does the hedge fund activity and blogger opinion means, uh, sure. just in a nutshell, because it isn't up yet. But hedge fund activity is kind of similar to what insiders are doing. And, and sorry, to the insider tab, but in this case, what we will do is we will analyze all the 13 F forms to see what all the Carl Icahns and George Soros's of the world are buying. So we're tracking 250 uh, prominent hedge funds, and we will show you also, also the sentiment of whether or not there was more smart money that has started buying into the company or not, and we look at that historically. We know that this is a very popular feature for uh, uh, value investors, and actually we know that there are Kind of, there are a few ETFs that uh, do exactly that. They track what hedge funds are buying and selling based on 13 F forms. The blogger opinion tab is kind of similar to the analyst ratings tab, but it is based on what financial bloggers are saying. So we will use our technology to analyze blogs such as Seeking Alpha, Motley Fool, uh, uh, The Street, Zax, and probably 30 more. And our algorithm... <clears throat> can conclude whether or not there was a recommendation in the specific log. If there was, we will start measuring the performance of that blogger as well, and then we will create all these uh, consensuses of bloggers. And that is, uh, that is something I think very interesting, very unique. Uh, we have quite a few hedge funds, some of the biggest ones, that license this data directly from us and trade on it because there is a lot of alpha there as well. And as Rob mentioned, it isn't available yet, but it is under development, and it should be available at some point in the next quarter, I presume. 
Great, and guys, please realize this is these are features that are now included with your Lightspeed trading account. So there is no additional cost for this. These are tools that we are providing you to try to give you up-to-date functionality and, and information uh, as best we can. And, and we feel TipRanks is, is a great way to provide this information. So it, there is no additional cost for this feature. You know, and it's just like I said, it's very easy to populate your order entry here and your charting and all the windows right from one of the tip ranks windows that are all built in together. You see the CRM Salesforce, I one click populates my chart, my level two, my order entry, and the analyst ratings as well. So I think that shows a, a nice scope of the different tools that we are providing here. Do, like to open it up to some questions as well. If some guys have some specific questions you want to type in here, we'll give you a couple minutes to see if we can answer them for you. And Yuri, if anything additional you'd like to add, please feel free to keep on speaking. Well. Uh I think uh, we pretty much covered the functionality. I will add that uh, I think it's impressive that Lightspeed made this available to their uh, to their end users. If the if the end users wanted to use this personally, it would uh, the pricing would vary around six hundred dollars, and Lightspeed basically uh, sponsored that to uh, to their own users, which is uh, remarkable. I'm here also for any questions, and I'm also available uh, after the webinar for any questions. Um, Great. But I think we kind of awesome. covered uh, the functionality here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and please note, you don't have to be a subscriber to the Lightspeed Trader software. The Client Center is available to all Lightspeed trading accounts. We do offer multiple platforms, but you, everyone has an access to the Lightspeed website and the Client Center, and they're able to utilize the same research tools through the website. So everyone be aware, this isn't just related to Lightspeed Trader, but it's for all Lightspeed trading users as well. So someone asked, where do I enter the symbol? You would go into your rating by symbol, and that's where you would enter in your search tool. And then we do also have a block trade filter on the Lightspeed Trader software, which can give you a sense of where there are certain large trades moving. And then you could kind of take a look and relate it to insider activity and analyst ratings to see how that relates. So you can see here's a big trade here, MU. And then I can take a look. And we can look at then the insider activity from there. So we could really relate to using those block trade filters to see how the analysts feel about it and if there's insider activity that these block trades can be correlated with. So Yuri, do you, are you seeing the questions come through as well? Oh, um, let me see. Somehow I see it, but it is okay. It's hard to see it here. So yeah, I I get no data with different highest rated stocks. Please. So someone's asking, uh, you know, for daily intraday trading, how can I find some trade ideas for intraday so, daily trading? So the way we measure analysts is we will measure their performance over <clears throat> over a year and not over a day. So it is hard to predict how will an analyst ratings perform in an intraday way. But what we do see is we, and what we see is that when analyst ratings reach the media, they usually have an immediate impact on the price of the stock. And it really depends on the firm of the analyst. If it's a Goldman Sachs, for instance, and they will upgrade or downgrade a company like Microsoft or Apple, like a mega cap, 
is that the impact will be immediate and you can see you know companies that are worth hundreds of billions of dollars uh, lose five to six seven percent uh, that moment um, so you can use that as a, as a daily tool uh, but the way we measure analysts is not on a daily basis we, we will find in real time ideas and you can trade over these ideas but the way we rank the analyst is only based on his performance in the following year or if within that year he closed his position, meaning he said buy, and then he downgraded the stock back to hold. Got it. And then um, someone's asking just a little bit more on, on how you would read some of the insider activity. I guess if you wouldn't mind just going over that again for us, show how, um, how, how you... Showing how to reach the insider activity? Yeah. Just really... How, how the information correlates. Oh, how do we get, uh, so, so the information about insider activity, so corporate insiders are required to report any transactions they make in the following 48 hours. So they need to submit a form called Form 4, and you can actually go directly to the SEC and look at these forms, but the second they reach the SEC, we already analyze them and um, uh, classify the type of transaction and display it and start measuring uh, the activity. So let's say Bill Gates has just reported that he's buying or selling shares of Microsoft. The minute that happens, we start measuring how that specific transaction performed, and then we look at all of Bill Gates' historical transactions, and we will rank him accordingly. So basically, what we show here is not pair insider. You can also see how each insider performed, but we will show you the overall sentiment of insider activity within a company, and, and that's a very good indicator to whether people who work at very um, high C-level positions of the company actually believe in the company or not. And the chart itself with the number of transactions, can you just define the chart? Sure. Sure. So, um, so now we're, in, uh, we're under the context of Target. And you can see here that recently there were no, uh, there were no recent transactions. The last one was at uh, August this year, and you can see that in August there were, I think, uh, uh, two transactions. One of them was a buy and one of them was a sell. So each bar here that you see, the green and red bars, shows you how many positive buy transactions were there and how many uh, sell transactions were there. For instance, in June there was only uh, one transaction and it was a buy. So you see that green uh, bar over here, while in August there was one buy and one sell. So specifically in Target, I don't know how interesting uh, this indicator is, but many stocks you will find uh, surprisingly that there were that recently there were a lot of buy transactions in it. Great, thanks. I hope that helped I, answer. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and guys, just note you would need the newest version of the software to view the tip ranks on here, so you can check that if if you're not on the newest one. If you go to help and about, it's going to tell you if you are on the newest version. It's going to say right here, your version of Lightspeed is up to date. I have the version here, 8.2.103. So th that's where you would just check to see what version you're on, and it would ask you to upgrade to the newest version if, if you're not on there. You don't have to sign up for it. it. It's going to be available for you. It's going to be available in the client center and going to be available on the software if you're on the newest version. So it's going to be provided for you as part of your day-to-day -day account subscription. Good questions here. Anyone else have any questions? Someone asked about uh, futures trading and, and futures information. Lightspeed does offer a lot of trading platforms for futures trading. I, Yuri, is there any information as far as for futures index or indices as commodity 
sectors? No, or no, no. So, so we cover only analysts that cover um, U.S. listed equities. They do not cover futures, options, or any other asset class. Got it. Yeah. So, please give us a call if you are interested in trading futures. We do have many different platforms and services for futures trading. And we do have a lot of traders doing that, but it, it wouldn't be through Lightspeed Trader or the, the tip ranks functionality. Hey guys, please note this, this webinar is going to be posted to the Lightspeed website. You'll be able to review it again and see all the different tools and the features and where to select them along with our other webinars. And we do have more functionality planned to roll out for tip ranks. Our full features should be coming, upcoming in the next couple months. And, you know, we'd like to try to go over those again at some point. So we certainly be on the lookout. We'll try to do another presentation. We thank everyone for joining us today. I, I hope everyone's able to see the value here. We Lightspeed certainly does, and that's why we're we're very proud to be able to add this functionality. And we really like to thank Tip Ranks and Yuri for letting us uh, partner up here and, and do this and, and take the time to to display this for everyone. So thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate and everyone that. have a great day. And um, everyone. Please feel free to call or email if you do have specific questions. We'd be happy to help you at any time, service at lightspeed.com, or call our general number, and we'll be happy to help you. So everyone, have a great day. Thank you very much, and, and hope to hear from everyone. And let us know your thoughts and, and any comments you have along the way of, of how you like the features, and we'd be happy to go over them with you. So thank you guys very much, and everyone, have a great day. That should wrap it up for us. Have a great night, great day.